So uh, welcome everybody and uh, been asked to uh, come along today. I'm the uh, technical director from Rationale UK, so there's a little bit of Rationale involved in today's presentation, but, but really to uh, look at transforming your kitchen um, with modern intelligent cooking systems and what that can mean um, to your operation. So if we uh, have a look to uh, start, uh, traditional kitchens or conventional kitchens as people might know them um, versus multifunctional cooking systems. Um, would you prefer to uh, be working in the kitchen on the left hand side or would you like to um, be working in the environment on the right hand side? So in today's challenging environment um, we use the intelligent cooking systems to help us to deliver a much better working environment for, um, for people working in the industry. So with the uh, rapid global change. I mean, that's certainly been accelerated over the last uh, couple of months or a couple of years, let's say. Um, with that comes the new opportunities. So we, we, we see these da daily in our, our business, in our challenges. Um, people talk a lot about sustainability. So we're talking about caring for the environment. Are we looking um, to use less energy? Energy certainly come to the top of the uh, criteria for people now. So looking to use less energy. How do we save water? How do we reduce the waste, the wasted energy, the wasted water? Uh, how do we deliver that to um, offer a, a more sustainable environment? As I said, energy um, transition, people are transitioning uh, in the uh, catering world now from gas to electric. There's, there's certainly a drive to deliver more um, energy efficiency in the kitchen. One of the things when you're looking at energy transition and one of the things that intelligent equipment can help you is to identify the amount of energy that you're using. Um, so Modern equipment, connected equipment, is able to tell you exactly how much that, uh, let's say, Sunday roast uh, allowed you, how much uh, energy you used, and if you can do that, if you can measure it, then you can manage it. If you can't measure it, one of the most common things that happens out there at the moment is we get a lot of people talking to us about um, energy efficiency, but they don't understand the actual energy efficiency in their business to start with. They don't identify the wasted energy, and, and certainly energy is now... Um, become a far more um, visible factor for people um, since the price increases and the, uh, the Ukraine war. So saving space, um, working with modern intelligent equipment, flexible equipment, helps you to save space in your kitchen design. Um, if you can save space in your kitchen design, then you're able to save uh, on ventilation costs. Um, smaller kitchen footprint, space is expensive. Um, so if you are able to save on space, that also delivers greater flexibility working with um, intelligent cooking systems. When we consider skill shortage in the uh, catering world these days, um, one of the biggest challenges again, I mean, it's a very challenging environment to be working in at the moment, but skill shortage, um, the, the availability of staff. Um, in the good old days, um, a chef had what he was given and he got on and, and, and worked with it. But now the, um, the market for employment, every chef, has the opportunity to pick and choose where they want to work. So we have to make sure that with the skill shortage, we can address this with technology. Um, technology, whether that be through um, programming or profiles or helping them to deliver consistent high quality in your business is what um, the intelligent cooking systems will allow you to do. Um, that you, you enables you to have your semi-skilled um, semi skilled team members or members of your organization that don't have the same skill level as perhaps the uh, qualified chefs. They're able to cook to a very high standard. And the one thing that uh, you all want to deliver is that consistent food product time. That's what your customers are looking for. And finally, the digital transformation. We're in an era now where everything that we touch is um, digitalized. Um, if I use an example of a school, if I go into a school office, I'll find they're using the latest technology. If I go into the classroom, we'll find they're using the latest technology. But if I wander into the kitchen, we still find that we're potentially in the dark ages. We're still cooking traditionally, conventionally, and we still have the same challenges in there. We're wasting energy, we're wasting time, we're wasting money. So by introducing technology into the kitchen, and if, for example, in the school, that helps us with the digital transformation. And also, as we'll see a little bit later in the uh, presentation, the uh, ability to communicate and see what's going on in the business. I'd like to show you a short video. Um, if you are a chef or you've been in the catering industry, you may recognize some of the um, things in this video uh, with regards to uh, this could be how um, a traditional cooking environment and the challenges that they have.
So these are the, the, the challenges, uh, maybe not all of them, but the, these are the challenges that modern kitchens, um, even small kitchens, are, are finding. And uh, working with modern cooking, intelligent cooking systems will help to address those and make life more attractive, more uh, um, flexible for the people working in, in the kitchens today. So modern challenges when you're planning a kitchen, things to consider, uh, six key things to consider when planning your next purchase. When you make a purchase, the purchase is not just about the next six months, it's about the next 10 years, hopefully. You're looking at um, future-proofing your operation, you're looking at how you can make it uh, more attractive. Um, so what challenges do we have in the industry at the moment? We have the uh, rising uh, wage costs. Um, everybody's suffering from rising wage costs. So that's something that's uh, happening out there. Um, we're, we're suffering also, f also from the... Uh, Availability of uh, and qualification level of staff. Um, you need qualified staff, they're not out there. Um, we all see it in the papers and the newspaper. I can go somewhere else and get paid more. So we struggle with the availability and, and the qualification level of staff. And how do you get around that? Like in other business, like in other industries, you introduce technology, which means that you can use team members or semi-skilled operators who can function at a much higher level. So, that, so we have the availability of this staff. We have the uh, shrinking investment budgets. You know, you want to invest wisely. You want something that's going to last. You're looking for getting the best value. You should also, again, uh, a very popular statement for me is consider the total cost of ownership. We'll see some slides about how people um, purchase on price. Uh, and great, everyone has a budget to start with. But your purchase, just like your family car, things you buy in your personal life, is for the next 10 years. You wouldn't buy a, a car that had, um, you know, was cheaper but had inefficient mileage and you had to buy more, more petrol each week. So why buy equipment that's gonna cost you more to run, more in electric, more in the water? So you should be considering the investment and sometimes that means there's an additional bit of inv investment. Um, legal requirements and constraints, when you're looking at equipment, you want to make sure that intelligent equipment will help you in that area, whether it's with regards to water regs, whether you need to comply with the, uh, or you're working on new builds where we have things like Briam, or if it's lead, a couple of uh, things, or whether it's about fog and it's the UK water regs. Um, we're always looking at um, how we can um, work with the, within the uh, legal restraints. Space, space, is, space costs money. If you, if you invest in modern intelligent cooking systems, they deliver flexibility. Flexibility means you can do more on a smaller footprint. How many kitchens, how many businesses you go into where you see a piece of equipment, perhaps it's a fryer, it gets used on Friday and it gets used on Tuesday. So you're taking up one square meter of space in your kitchen and you're not using it on a regular basis. So when you're looking at modern intelligent equipment, it's about how flexible is this? How much can I reduce the space? Let's take an example again from the industry. If I'm a, a nursing home and I've, I've, got a small, I've got a kitchen footprint, if I can introduce a, a, a flexible kitchen, if I could reduce the space required for that kitchen by 25%, that could allow me to introduce one more bedroom, for example. A bedroom in a nursing home is an expensive exercise. It could generate me an extra 30, 40,000 pounds a year in income because I've taken back space that I was using for traditional and conventional equipment. And I'm looking more at the uh, flexible, multifunctional, intelligent cooking systems, which help to deliver that for me. And finally, as I say, the, uh, it's very uh, out there at the moment, the uh, rising energy and raw cost materials. So if I'm working with um, intelligent equipment, that means I'm gonna get less spoilage, less wastage. My, my team members, my operators can deliver every single time the high quality that we're looking to deliver um, when we're doing that. So we don't want to waste equipment, we don't want to waste money. So when we're looking at um, why invest in modern intelligent cooking systems, what should you expect from your investment? What, you, what should you be asking? What should you be asking people like myself, other manufacturers in the hall um, about their cooking systems, intelligence and how it's gonna benefit you and your business? So if we look at uh, what conventional, if I purchase modern intelligent cooking systems, what conventional or traditional equipment can the modern equipment replace in the kitchen? So can I buy a piece of equipment perhaps that will boil, will fry, will pressure cook, will deep fry, will sous vide? Is that a piece of equipment that I can look for and can I purchase? Will the cooking system help to reduce the cooking times? Um, if I can save labor, let's use an example. If I've got some modern cooking equipment and it saves me one hour a day, one hour a day at 15 pound an hour, 
is £75 a week. It's £3,500 a year. Modern technology has delivered a saving for me in labour. And we'll look at labour in a minute as well with regards to other savings. Can I um, connect the kitchen? Um, can I connect it to the manufacturer's management system? Can I connect it to an open system? Is that possible? Because moving forward, the whole world is connected. We all want to be connected. And again, we don't want to leave the kitchen behind. So consider modern cooking systems deliver the ability to connect and understand what's going on in your kitchen. If I buy the new cooking systems, intelligence, will, it, uh, will the new equipment help me with staff challenges and free up the team to work on other things? Um, using technology frees up your labor. Labor have the opportunity to go on and do other things. We can look at the uh, labor saving and we, can, and, and we can say, how do we use that labor? Obviously, you can save on finance is one option, but you can use the time to extend your menus. You can widen the choice of availability. If you don't want to use, do that, then you can use the time to train. And ed, who wants a chef that says, I finish at 11.30 every night because I have to do my ordering? By using modern cooking systems and the intelligence, we can give back perhaps an hour or an hour plus during the day. We can use it for training. So all of those things that, that uh, we do when we save time, it's not just about money. It's about the happiness, the welfare of the uh, staff that we work with. Will uh, a modern kitchen working with modern co cooking systems, will it help me to attract talent, uh, new talented staff and retain my existing staff? As I said earlier, uh, we're short of chefs in the industry. Chefs now have a choice. The younger generation of caterers coming through have a choice where they go to work. So if you invest in your kitchens, if you make them modern, all the youngsters that come through these days have all grown up with technology. They are all expecting to find technology in their, in their kitchens where they go to work. So if you have a, a good team, if you've got good chefs, invest and retain them. If you're looking to, to, to employ the right type of chefs in your business or the right types of caterer, invest in the equipment and bring the equipment in and you'll get the right people coming in. So having the right equipment is about retaining and attracting the right members of staff because it's a, it's a complete um, headache when you do lose key players and you've got to go out and try and, and, and get new staff in. So, and, and will it help? Will working with modern technology and modern cooking systems, will it help with the, the reducing fatigue and, and help to mitigate errors? I mean, I don't know how many of you consider things like health and safety in your business. Do you consider manual handling? Working with conventional equipment, for example, with a six ring burner, can mean that the chef is moving up to three times more weight than if they worked with modern cooking intelligent equipment. So consider, is manual handling, is the health and safety of your operators important to you and your business? Because if it is, that will not only help to retain them, but you have a happy, if you have a happy team, you have a productive team. Can I, working with modern cooking systems, look to uh, increase my yield and reduce my wastage? Again, we're looking at the food cost savings here. Yes, you can. You will look to need less kitchen space, and that will help to reduce. You know, are you interested in a piece of equipment that's maybe 90% energy efficient because of the intelligence? Or would you like to continue with traditional equipment that might only be 60% energy efficient? As I say, when you do the sums, work it out over the years, total cost of ownership is key. So intelligent equipment will deliver that saving for you along with the flexibility and the modern working environment. So those are key things that you need to consider. And then what savings can I expect on my utility costs? Working with modern, modern equipment will deliver savings on your, your energy costs and your water costs. Also, you should consider, as I, I've said several times, the, the ROI or the return on investment. Buying traditional equipment, buying conventional equipment, your business will be standing still. You will not be moving forward. You'll, you'll have the same costs, the same running costs as you move forward buying intelligent cooking systems, you will see a payback on that equipment. That payback will come within maybe two, three years, depending on the equipment. But then that, that return on investment turns into profit. I guess everybody in the room runs a business to make a profit. If you're looking to make a profit, then you're going to have to invest, you know, if you're looking to, to, to drive forward. And as, as I said, consider always the total cost of, the total cost of ownership. Because as we... Uh, as we consider, um, when you're purchasing new equipment, around about 20% of your um, 
your, your total cost of ownership is tied up in the capex. Everybody is always interested in saving or that initial purchase price, but they forget the long-term journey with that piece of equipment that they go on. So when we look at the um, intelligent, uh, how intelligent efficiency helps to deliver, um, increased flexibility on reduced space, the ability to uh, multiple menus, perhaps even travel around the world on your cooking dishes, if that's what you, reduction in the uh, consumption of resources, the reduction in resources, helping to uh, support team, team members uh, within the business, helping them to work to a higher level, delivering that consistency and high food quality that you, you re require, the variety and balance of fresh food that you can cook, along with the increased uh, productivity and the consistency of the food and the intelligent productivity, the ability to design control panels, cleaning schedules, have service support, all those things that take up time in your day can be handled by working with the intelligent equipment. So quickly to uh, whiz round the uh, circle here, we're looking at providing consistent and excellent food quality, reduced energy costs, flexible cooking options, labor savings with an enhanced working environment, connected kitchen on a smaller kitchen footprint, which will help us to deliver a happy working environment for your employees. In turn, we'll give you a return on your investment over the lifetime of the equipment and help to future-proof your business moving forward. So those are some of the key points that when working with the intelligent cooking systems, we can get delivered. So finally, we have seemed to help. So finally, when we, we, we talk about the uh, investment, and, and yes, any modern cooking system, any intelligent technology, whether you're looking at combis, perhaps whether you're looking at the, the uh, multifunctional cooking pans, whether you're looking at accelerated cooking, whether it's dishwashers, whatever you're looking at with regards to intelligent cooking and in, and in particular intelligent cooking systems, the cost of lifetime ownership is very important. Uh, and as I said earlier, 20% of the costs are visible. You get a quote, you see how much a piece of equipment is, you can find something else cheaper. But what you really need to be considering is the uh, operational um, expenditure, what we would call the APEX, the OPEX costs, the OPEX costs, the operational costs, the labor, the raw materials, your energy consumption, your water, those are the costs that are important and combined, they will give you your total cost of ownership. And that's the key one that you should be considering. Um, it, it, that's gonna help deliver. So last couple of slides to finish off because I think we're uh, approaching my time. Just uh, quickly, when we are looking at uh, modern cooking systems, um, the use of digitalization and connectivity to help deliver the, uh, by investing in it and, and helping to deliver the opportunity connect anywhere. So you can always see what's happening in your kitchen. You can get information on hygiene status. You can get information on service breakdowns. If a six ring burner breaks down in your kitchen, you're never gonna find out until someone rings you. If one of your intelligent pieces of equipment break down, you're always going to get a notification. You're going to get it back up and running. So if pieces of equipment are critical to your day-to-day -day running, then you want to know straight away so that you can get it repaired and fixed as soon as you can. Software updates. Everybody in the room, I guess, will have an iPhone of some description. You get a notification for a software update, you do it. You buy a piece of catering equipment. Why would you not want to update it? So the ability to stay connected and software updates, keeping you informed, as I say, if it's the HACCP data that you want to record, if it's the energy efficiency that you want to record, if you want to know how much energy you've used or burnt today, you can see that through the intelligent cooking systems. All of these things are becoming more and more critical in the day-to-day -day operation of the businesses. And finally, the uh, efficient work and service support. You know, wouldn't it be nice um, if you had a piece of equipment that when it, when it had a fault or when it broke down, it immediately contacted the service partner told them what the fault was so that the service partner can actually ring you and tell you they're on their way to come and fix it. You can't do that with conventional, but you can do it with intelligent cooking systems. And those are the things that you're looking for. Those are the benefits which will make the difference when you're operating your business. So it's important you know, to empower your kitchen, make it easier, make it faster, make it safer, make the most of technology. We all use technology outside of the kitchen. So why would we not want to use it inside the kitchen? 
whether it's cooking programs, you know, make everything easier no matter where your cooking systems are. Technology is the future, whether we like it or not, we have to embrace it in the kitchen. Um, the uh, cooking systems that Rationale provide help to deliver that along with other manufacturers who, who make other equipment. So um, now's the time to embrace technology. Now's the time to deliver benefits for you. And when you are, consider the, um, let's say, the total cost of ownership and where you're going with it. So if anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to uh, take them and answer them. If not, thank you all for uh, turning up. And uh, if there are any, any, any questions at all, we have a mic at the back if anyone wants to, to ask one. No, I think with that, thank you very much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of the show.